I go. Amen. Okay, good morning, everybody. Okay, I hope you had a bright day. Ever had a nice, you had a nice sleep? The best breakfast, brother, the best breakfast. Okay. As a matter of fact, I'm about to send the Micklin Hotel at Memo. <laughs> yes. American breakfast. Like this city was almost at a standstill until 2006 <laughs> when we struck oil. Yeah, it, 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 it's been a very nice city before, then went into stagnation in terms of improvement. Then when we struck oil in 2006, you see a whole lot of sort of uh, things that are springing out. New hotels, like the one we just live in, it's a new hotel. And you can see that the right the one, right opposite of it, is that there's a rejuvenation of uh, interest and development in this. Now here in Takuradi, Second D and Takuradi are twin towns. This one is a commercial capital of the region. And we had the administrative capital. We were gonna drive through. This was where we had lunch, we have dinner. And today we're gonna to have dinner. Same place, Rebo International Hotel. So there are several now there are several hotels and apartments. The Rebo have apartments for oil workers, people who are working in the oil industry, gas, oil and gas industry that, that they come to stay. We are going to drive through Yofa. Right way. Huh? We we just taking a panoramic drive through the city of Secondi and Takoradi. Yes. Alright family, let's give you a, just a nice little view of the surrounding areas. And we're here in Takoradi. And it is also becoming a very expensive city. What? Yes. Yes, absolutely. I saw the bill. Because uh if you have people, the oil and gas industry is rich so they can, the, yeah, the black gold, the, they have a lot of money to spend. Yeah. And most of the people they're bringing in here are uh, experts, either expatriates or Ghanaian experts or consultants. So you need to up your hotel to a certain level. Yeah, you need to raise the level of your hotel to a certain level. So, and you see a lot of people that are also reconstructing. Uh, you know, they they're building even the planters' law. They're building a conference a compressed complex, and then the others will be rooms. So you need. Other than that, they will not be left with the way it used to be. Nobody would have uh, added money because return on investment would have taken a very long time. This part of the town was where the Europeans in Takradi, the Europeans lived. This, was, this area is called Chapel Hill. Chapel Hill. Now we are, we are of course, we are on the main, main uh, of course. So we're going to drive through by, by the harbor area. There's a point you can stand and you have a very nice view of the harbor. We, we will not be able to go in because we have no business in the port. Mm -hmm. So we will not be able to go inside, which is a restricted area. Yeah. Did you go to the, the city or the beach last night? The sun. Oh yeah, we went to Ayo. Uh, um, it was Vienna City, but we walked in and walked out. Then we stayed and then walked right across where we heard some music at, which was the neighboring spot. Yeah. And they're supposed to playing Ghanaian and reggae music. And, and today they're gonna have a live band at the Rebo. 
Oh, perfect. So we might just hang out there after we have finished eating. Yeah. Beside, before the oil, we, we struck the oil, the only big business here was harbor. I mean, people that are working in the port. On the left-hand side, we have, uh, this is not a very nice view of it, but that's the, the I mean, the hospital area called European Hospital. Because all of these hospitals were set up just to take care of the Europeans. You know what I'm saying, folks, come up, come up in your country, set up hotels, hospitals, set up hotels and uh, and uh, hospitals, and then say you can't use it in your own country. Yeah, that was a colonial period. <laughs> the colonial period, all hospitals were catered for just for the white guys. But yes. Still where the Europeans live now, and that was just back That then. was just, that was where they lived. Oh. Not now. Okay. As a matter of fact, you can see all the buildings here. You see that you see the colonial architecture, yes. like the Barclays Bank building, if I left right. If we go down straight to take us into the harbor, there's no need for us to get there if we can go oh, inside. Perfect. Thank you. So you're doing an ATM stop now? Thanks. We're we'll do it. Okay. Can I begin? Yeah, I'll thing up there, so I'm going to try again. There's a lot of banks here, that's perfect. Yeah. So you want to do that now? Sure. We'll just stop. We'll just have a... I mean, I'm okay. So it's trying to find out who's ready to reload. Who's ready to reload? ATM stop. Automatic teller machine. Hit four digits and you got a lot of money come out. I've been praying to the money gods. I'm about to put my card in there and see what comes out. Yeah. <laughs> I think I need, a, I need a Visa logo to change. I saw one down the street. Yeah, this one is Visa. It's Visa compact. Uh, this one, uh, they, okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, perfect. So, family, let's get you the machine. The money, money, money machine. <laughs> and for those who got lots of money, get some out for me, too. <laughs> That's right, so a family. We're gonna link it back. Uh, oh, we're gonna go get our money for our day shopping and moving around, and we'll connect back with you. The journey continues. Thanks. <laughs>